All right, NASA is getting ready to practice preventing a potential space disaster. Tonight, NASA's DART mission will try to redirect an asteroid by crashing into it. Yeah, gotta love the simulation. The <laughs> asteroid poses no risk to Get Earth. Get that out of the way. So let's just know this. This is just a practice thing. But it will serve as a testing ground for future missions. It could eventually help save the human race from future catastrophe. Eric Hendrickson goes in-depth to explore the challenges in protecting Earth from asteroids. Could an asteroid wipe out the human race? Asteroids, near-Earth objects, may pose hazards to life on Earth. University of Texas space debris expert Dr. Morbija says we now have the tech to deflect. You want to be able to go out to it um, and give it a little nudge. Basic physics lesson. If a massive object like an asteroid is hurtling towards Earth, a tiny push can redirect it, preventing an impact. DART is going to be useful only up to a certain class of asteroid. Other ideas include using light photons to push the asteroid. If you paint them like a different color through solar radiation, would would start altering the trajectory of the object just based on its ability to reflect light. But there are some complications. The closer the asteroid is, the harder it's going to be to deflect from the path. Dr. Jaws says the problem is we don't have enough eyes on the skies. Detecting asteroids is challenging. For one, space is big and dark. So we have to see the sunlight being reflected off the objects. But that sunlight makes it impossible to see things coming from the sun's direction. That's like the blind area in a vehicle. And making things worse. We have a bunch of satellites that we're launching into space that are also reflecting sunlight. Blocking our view. But those satellites are also outfitted with star tracking devices. Those star trackers could serendipitously be used to collect data. Dr. Jaw says if we plan to prevent our doom, we must keep track of all the objects near Earth by developing a, a more comprehensive catalog or database of these objects, get a better accuracy and precision for a probability of collision of any of these things with the Earth. On Earth, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. Earth, I love that. <laughs> nice. What a big deal happening tonight. 7 I know. I know. By tomorrow morning, we will know Did whether or not yeah. we will be safe it's from like a potential this catastrophe. This small, and then the asteroid is like this yeah. big. Right. Yeah. And I mean, it helps when you don't have gravity <laughs> out there. Yeah. But they also have a, a little briefcase-sized uh, video camera, if you will, that's traveling behind it, there we go. capturing the Ooh, whole that's thing. Prime yeah. content. I know. We're going to be able to get some good-looking <laughs> images out of that.